guys, welcome back to the house. So listen, today we have a interview with Brian from Candy and the Gang, but y'all have a kicker, okay? If you wanna watch the entire 35 minute interview, you must subscribe to the Patreon. There is a $2, $5, and $10 tier. Make sure you sign up, links are down below. But of course, y'all know I got y'all, I got y'all. I cut out a nice little chunk for the YouTube fam. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And don't forget to create a great day. Um, okay, so I want your opinion on these people. Are you ready? Okay. First word to come to mind when I say these names. Um, Candy. A boss. Loyal. Okay. Humble. Okay. okay. Oh, one word, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh Todd Tucker. A boss. Stern, but loving. Okay. Chandrika. Busybody. How is she busybody? Like during work? Um, like yeah, she actually is uh actually a hard worker. Okay. It's just you know, just I guess it's uh, like all of us. We, we work when we feel like it. <laughs> Not when you feel like it. Uh Dom. Dom, a dancer. A dancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um Rashard. Is that his name? Yeah, Rashard. We call him Shard. Shard no. <laughs> Rashard. We call him Shardo. Yeah. Shardo. Shardo. Yeah, but his name is Rashard. One word. What I think of him? Uh stylish. Stylish. I say shady. He's the shadiest one out of all of them. But he's kind of low so? with his shade. Yeah, yeah. Like when he was talking to, um, to you at your place about upper management, talking about they lack intelligence, I was like, right. Oh. See, Candy and Todd need to have a conversation. That's with him. him. Uh, and, um, they, and they do. Stay tuned. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shardo. Aunt Bertha. <laughs> Ooh, mamas. Yes. <laughs> Not mamas. My girl. Patrick. Mm -hmm. Lil bro. Okay. Safari. Businesswoman. Okay. She a little mean to me based off of the last episode, but you know. No, nah, she just she just very stoic. <laughs> um, Torin. My baby. My work is yeah. Oh, your baby. <laughs> hey, <Ava>. boo. <laughs> so it's not weird working with somebody that you had relations with. Um, at first it was we, we talked about like three years ago, child. This wasn't like brand new. And y'all don't care? No. Not at all. Hmm. Dang. So did y'all try to date or like what was the situation? Like we need the tea. Um, we was just at work. We flirted all the time. And like him, unlike me, he go, he won't mix business with pleasure. And so well, how we end up going our separate ways, because of course I was going through what I was going through already. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like that outside of work, we'd be all chummy, chummy, chummy and hugged up. And then at work, you know, he act like I'm a damn guest walking in. I don't like, I'm spoiled. I don't like that. All right. And he was like, we had work. I don't care. Got you. Um, how did you feel about that argument when Torin met Philip? Did you watch that scene? I did. I loved it. How did you feel about that? Like, what were your um, thoughts? I kind of felt like I was team Torin. Were you? Of course. Man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, because Philip just came out of left field. Talking about something. Out of left field, exactly. Yeah. And I just was like, get him, Torn, get him. And Torn did it respectfully, you know. And I just, I was so proud of him that he held his own. Yeah. Because that was a lot to be bombarded with all of a sudden. Yeah. Um. Okay, one word, Brandon. Um. Brandon is there. <laughs> I told the people that <laughs> you being suspended, Brandon should have been suspended because not only did we not have a bartender, but we right. had a clogged up sink, we had dusty floors, and we had dishes everywhere. So the fact right. that they wanted to pick on you, mm -hmm. I'm mad at. So they listen. pick on me a lot too because they say from the beginning I was like princess or the diva or whatever, and I got special treatment, especially with Torin being there. 
So it's like they always, even now, I'm trying to make an example of me and show everybody else. You know, okay, you can't do this. We, we did Brian. We still gonna do you. So it's just like I feel like I be made a made an, made an example anyway. of now. Yeah. yeah, that's what I feel like. So Brandon ends up snitching on you because you sitting at the bar. Now, why right. did you feel the need to sit at the bar? Because Shada was sitting there, and we were just talking. Because you know, okay. in my in my in my from my knowledge, we didn't have no we didn't have that rule when I left. Mm -hmm. So I'm going off based on what we've always done. Right. And I wasn't drinking nothing. I wasn't eating nothing. We literally just chilling and talking. It was a slow day when nobody hardly even in the restaurant. And so, I mean, it was what it was. Right. So then Brandon doesn't like your response, which I thought was weird because you ended up going back to work. Like you made a cute little joke, like how you always do. Right. And then uh, Brandon, I guess, was offended at that. But my no, thing he's is, trying to he's trying to get brownies from Philip. That's all. It was. Yes, that's what it that's what it felt like. Cause you're not <laughs> doing nothing, so now we're gonna pick on Brian. I didn't like right. that. So how was your relationship? Okay, so you're back at the restaurant, obviously. When you came back, right? And let me know if you can't talk about this. Um, how did you feel about Brandon? Like, was it just like regular schmegler, like back to business, or yeah, the same? Look, I don't. I one thing about me, I'm not holding no grudge. I, you know, I have to protect my peace, so I would be releasing that stuff. So I came back, and again, he was just there. <laughs> not, just, <laughs> not just there. Is he still there to this day? Yeah, he's there. And you're not getting me started, okay? Ooh, <laughs> listen. Okay, so yeah. Brandon then goes to Philip and tells Philip that you was getting smart with him at the bar, even though he handled the situation and you went back to work. Yeah, he said, he said, I got a little snappy. You got snappy, like Philip and everybody else got no. snappy, and Drika, but okay. Um, right. You ain't seen my snap. He ain't never seen me get snappy. I show I you snappy. See it, child. I I'm see trying it. to leave that person alone. Ooh, okay now. Um, <laughs> okay, one word, Philip. Robot. <laughs> not a robot oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> you know philip i thought i was gonna like philip and i still do are y'all friends we are much closer than what we were when i first met him let's just say that. that's good because he would have pissed yeah. me off yeah you know we've had a heart to heart and stuff like that and so you know we're we're a lot better we don't hang out enough Mm -hmm. And we're cool. We're, we're at a good, we're at a very, very, very good spot. I actually like him now. Oh, you like him now? Uh -huh. Now, what's like? Not like him? that now. What's, what's like? Um, Not like that. Well, yeah, what's likable? Well, we've had, we've had private conversations. Let me just say that. He worked private. And so I like him, you know, a whole lot now. I understand why he's the way he is mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. He, he's really a good guy. He's a good guy. Does he like you? Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, Philip is talking to you about getting snappy with Brandon. Um, right. And then y'all just, you know, the conversation is getting heated. You're saying your piece. Philip is saying his piece. And then all of a sudden, from my view of things, um, <laughs> what's his name? Philip just yells out, you don't do anything. And I right. was clutching my pearls. Now, what was your mindset during that moment? We gotta, we gotta get into it. Uh, my mindset wasn't anything. I just met him. So how you know I don't do nothing? I just met you. So for me, it just didn't even make any sense. You wow. going off, you know? And people couldn't have even said that about me to him because, like, I, I do my job. Look, at least I think I do. Mm -hmm. I had to be doing something to be there five years. Hello. Right. Maybe he thought, but you've been, okay. here, but you've been here five minutes. <laughs> All right, talking about some you don't do nothing, and then he started going like this. Oh, yeah, like I guess you talk too much, you got a lot of this, and you need to do and we all know anything. he don't want to do all the talking. <laughs> yeah, he does do a lot of talking and a lot of snapping. If anybody snapping, it's him. <laughs> but okay. it's him. <laughs> um, okay, so you got suspended. So, uh, like, how was it after that? Were you relieved? I would have been relieved. How was that conversation with Don Juan? How did you feel about that? Uh, well, that's like my big brother. So, um, when, when he said something to me, it's, it's, 
I never take it as nasty because, you know, to me, he's not that at all. And he's mm-hmm. shown me like a true person, you know, that he is. And so I took it as just like, you know, tough love or whatever, mm-hmm. because, you know, at the time, even though I didn't feel like it, Philip was my authority. authority. And I probably did snap a little bit. You know, I'm an eight. What are you? You know, oh, um, I was mean? getting smart with him. Uh, uh, he said he, he was like, um, I, what do you say? I walk in your shoes or something like that. And I was like, you ain't never walked in my shoes. I'm an eight. What are you? I still don't <laughs> get it. I'm slow. I still don't get it. I'm a size eight in shoes, Aaron. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I've been thinking about Ding that dong. joke, and I'm like, what does that, okay, size A, you never walked in my shoes, okay, did I? He was like, something about walking in shoes, and I was like, you ain't never walked in my shoes. I said, I'm an eight, what are you? A 13. <laughs> yeah, he about 12, 13, yeah. mm-hmm. big thing. Yeah, I figure, yeah. Oh, good. Hey, Atlanta. Chum, chum. <laughs> Where are you from? Atlanta. I'm from Los Angeles, uh-huh, South Central, whoop. And why you leave? I well, I grew up there, so as special as everybody else thinking, I just was like, I'm ready for something else, ready for something first. So when I turned thirty, you know, I came to Atlanta mm-hmm. and been here seven years now, almost. Did you watch reality TV before this? Like, are you an avid watcher? Um, yeah, I was watching Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, so how did you feel about Candy? What was your impression of Candy before you worked for her? Well, before Atlanta Housewives, we already knew her from the state. You know, I grew up in that era. Okay, right. Yeah, I did. I already knew her from escape, so I always liked her because she has, you know, a, a unique voice just like I do. And so her voice always stuck out to me. I mean, hooks and, um, and, you know, on the verses and stuff. Like, you know, that's how you make a hit. You say I'm different. You don't sound like everybody else. Right. And so I've always been attracted to her, you know, her work ethic and all that. You know, I remember when No Scrubs came out, we was like, oh, Candy, about that? Like, this is years ago, mind you. Mm-hmm. And then to see her on Housewives, I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. Who's the Beyonce <laughs> of Escape since you are an Escape fan? The Beyonce, I would say Candy. <laughs> oh, really? You really think Beyonce, uh, she's the Beyonce of the group? I think so. Now, is it because of her vocals or is it because of who she's become? It's mostly? because of her aura, her whole, her whole thing. Okay. That's interesting. Who's the um Kelly? I would say Tiny. Who's the Michelle? Latasha. Who's the Latavia? Or slash oh Latoya? Goodness. Slash Farah. Miss Mika. Oh. <laughs> but I don't know why we comparing them two groups. <laughs> I'm just playing. Destiny's Child and had a choir. <laughs> what do you mean they had a choir? Um, choir, you know, the, the two members they let go, and then uh-huh. two new ones, and then one new one. <laughs> That's our ensemble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we love um, it. Okay, so uh, listen, what is you doing outside of OLG? I know you got the egg rolls. How's that going? Right. How did that It's go going on? really, really good. That came about... Um, I think, and this is be, before we started the process, I was just, you know, had a, uh, had a ghost kitchen with DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats, and I was making just, you know, meals and stuff like that, and I remember saying to myself, for like two weeks of doing that, it went well, but mm. my soul rolls, I had just two on the menu during that time. I had like chicken plates, all that kind of stuff, barbecue, all, all that kind of stuff, mm. but I had collard green rolls and mac and cheese rolls, whatever. I noticed that those are outselling everything else on my menu. Mm-hmm. And then I got bored with just soul food. I get bored easy. And I was like, I already worked at a restaurant. I mean, I hadn't been at OG in like maybe five months, something like that. Mm-hmm. And I just was like, okay, um, let me just turn everything into egg roll. I'm mm-hmm. gonna turn the plate into a roll. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. It just took off and it's fun. Oh, wow. And you said you wanna do like a food truck. Yes. I mean, you'll learn about all that's that coming up soon. A lot of good things coming up. Stay okay. tuned every Sunday, I'm 9 right. Central on Bravo. I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you didn't already have the event. Which one? For the egg roll food truck. I've had several events. 
I had a watch party at my house uh, even last week. And I did it for free, of course, but I'm probably made a thousand egg rolls for people that came through. So is there going to be a watch party next Sunday? Because I only got invited to one. Right, what you didn't come to. You know, who don't come? I don't send out no money. last minute. <laughs> and you said you was making lasagna, not egg rolls now. Yeah, last night I made lasagna. I made a veggie one and a mm. five cheese turkey. Who taught you how to cook? Um, my mom, my dad, grandma, a couple of my aunties. And I kind of just took what they taught me and made my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what's up. So why you don't, mm -hmm. so you don't want to cook in the kitchen? You don't want to be in the kitchen at all? Well, you have too much personality for that. Yeah, and um, it's too hot, number one, mm -hmm. in there. And uh, I make more serving. Okay, got you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be on a fixed, uh, you know, hourly like drinking. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, you want no, that to no. the personality is gonna bring in the the bucks, right? Because I mean, at the end of the day, I know what I can do. That's why I've always been in sales, commission only. And, you know, for lack of better words, killing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because you 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 know you 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 are your limit. Mm -hmm. Hello, you you are your limit. I don't want to see the same chick every two weeks, but I know I can make more. Mm. Have you liked being on TV? I love it. What's your favorite part? I love it. Uh, just being a like like people always said when I was younger, you do the camera following you. And so now that it's actually happening, um, I just could be myself. Like what I do on, on TV, I literally do this by myself at the house. I make myself laugh. Mm. I entertain myself. And my friends and all of them, they're like, you act the same exact way. I'm like, well, what else do you expect? Mm. But it's, just, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to uplift, uplift people and have people smile again because we have went through some crazy times in the last couple of years. It's important to smile. You don't ever get embarrassed like, oh, I said something, I did something that was real cringy. Why did I do that? Or why no. did they expose this? You haven't been embarrassed by anything? No. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, no. that's good. That means you were made for <laughs> You were made for TV. Yeah. We need you to be a I knew what I was signing up for. On the housewives. Yes. They're we doing need you to be Candy's friend up. Oh, no. be her okay. bestie because we want to see more. We want to see more. Aw. <laughs> uh, well, they already finished uh, season 14. So that's a wrap. They did, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Maybe one, season 15. <laughs> maybe, yes. Because I love, and I love how there's so much representation. And Candy hasn't mentioned this a few times already how there's so much uh representation for the lgbtq because you right. really, i'll be watching a whole bunch of reality shows ain't no gay guy ain't no gay person and everybody right. is best friends or related to a gay person so the fact right. that candy has multiple gay people they're all vastly different some of y'all are very expressive some of y'all are very yeah. trade we got the mask, <laughs> we got everything. I love it. Yes. You like working with that much gay, that many gay people? Cause some gay guys I mean, don't like being around a whole bunch of gay guys. I mean, I mean, to me, it's just life. Whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just not that type of person where I be overthinking stuff like that. You're like, okay, you here, all right, get to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people don't like hanging. I know a lot of gay guys don't like hanging around other gay guys because it's like, oh, you have the certain stereotype of a gay that think, oh, right. better than the next, and you know. Well, what I would say to that, I think that's not even a gay or straight thing. I think yeah. that's just you like somebody who's gonna be genuine, genuinely themselves, right? Gay, straight, or whatever you call it, no matter what race, creed you are. You know, just be yourself, be authentic, just be real. I can't stand fake people. I just I can't stand people who are just not themselves because you can see right through it. Mm -hmm. You can slice right through it with the knife. And I'd be like, okay, I said, mind my business. I'd be like, mm mm. -mm. Who's the Ooh. fakest co worker? None of them. <laughs> <laughs> none, of them none of them are fake. That's not what Shaka said say. in the last episode. You, oh, didn't, okay. you didn't think it was fake. That's neither another torrent. Hmm? Wait, what? I think Patrick is just grown up still. He's still finding himself. Oh, okay. 
Well, thank you so much, Brian. We love you over here in the house of Aaron. Everybody's going to be so psyched out because you were like the number one person that everybody wanted me to talk to. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank Thank y'all. And thank you for sharing your story. You're helping out a lot of people. So we really do appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Aaron. I'm glad Uh, we finally got a chance to do this. Are you coming to the meet and greet tonight? (gasps) Sure. Probably not. You know what? I actually, it's at Blaze. Ugh. It's at Blaze, at five, yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, if I do, I'll, 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 I'll message you. Um, where can they find you? Oh, on Instagram, The Brian Show, T H A B R I A N Show. Um, also on Facebook, my name is Brian Redman, that's R E D M O N D. Oh, on Twitter now. I'm new to Twitter, so I'm so sorry with my responding. I, I, I'm brand new to Twitter. And brand, Candy like shouted you days. out, and I saw those followers go all the way up. I know. It's crazy. And uh, I still don't know how to really work it like that. I'm like 90 in my head. But <laughs> well, you got you got also the brand. tweeting. Like during the episodes, you have to live tweet so that people can tweet along like, you know, say Patrick is being fake and telling Candy stuff. You can be like, oh, Patrick, Patrick is being real fake. And then people will comment like while the show was on. Yeah, that's what was, uh, was that? A few weeks ago, after Tori was doing sitting next to me, and I was like, what are you doing? He said, I'm live tweeting. I'm like, watch mm-hmm. the show. I am not that tech, that tech person. I am no, not. I'm, I'm learning. He needs to hire me an intern or something. <laughs> You'll have one one day. Yeah. All right, Brian. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, Aaron, no problem. Talk to you soon. Bye.